What's going on guys, Artificial Rest here and today I'm bringing you a super quick and really easy Photoshop tutorial and we are going to be taking a look at a really cool new effect that I've, I've been doing some work with in some of my latest thumbnails including this one uh, not the text I might cover that in another video but we're going to focus on getting the like oil paint almost cartoonish kind of outlines or make the background looks like this and what we need to do for that is I have three different images uh, two from nature with completely different colors and one from a game just to see or an upcoming game I should say just to see how this effect looks so first of all I always do some color correcting on the images because they look really gray and faded out just as they are there's nothing wrong with the, these pictures, it's, it's just that I like to add add some um, add some pretty ad essential stuff to make it look even better just bump the opacity up not the opacity, the saturation put it up to 25, alright so now after you have color directed the image if you want to you can go and click on your original original image layer and go up to filter and oil paint you might think it is liquify because you know the lines get all dragged out and stuff but no it's oil paint just let it do its magic and here we go you can see you have some it may, really makes it look like more cart cartoonish and it looks really cool now when you open up this for the first time you will have something like this with this set at two point something and this will create a shine as you can see especially on the lighter stuff you can't really see it that much on the black and grey and the green areas but that is definitely something you should put at zero unless you're going for this kind of look looks like you have kept your like pencil on an oil painting too long on one spot so a lot of paint has gone into that and you just drag it out but I put it down to zero on all of my all of my artwork that I do this kind of effect on because I don't like it it looks not good and I just bump everything up to 10 and this one up to 360 and the stylization is really one the one you want to change on so as you can see at one at 0.1 you have this kind of as it would be painted like by a sponge or something but if you drag it all the way up you'll have really squiggly lines and really cartoonish lines so I like to put it around somewhere in the middle that gives it a nice kind of bit of both I like to put it around 6 actually right so there we have 6 and as you can see it looks really cool so what you can do now, just to make it even cooler, is to add some black lines on this to make it kind of movie-ish. And those were very small lines, let's just add way more lines. Alright, let's just, there we go. That looks pretty cool. Alright, so on to the next. We'll do the same on this, do some color correcting, make it a bit darker and bring out the contrast even more. And we'll also actually now we'll bump down the saturation just a bit just as we can see a bit difference alright so obviously this uh, this picture had a lot more lines and a lot more you know of these small uh, small tacks and small lines on it so what you want to do on this one if you use the same effect and exactly the same settings it will look like this right not good so what we'll do here is just drag it way more down probably around two and a half maybe what you also can do is change around on the other on the other settings as you can see if we drag the clean lines down it will look much better because then these small lines won't be faded out as much and scale and the bristle detail doesn't really matter 
All right, I think that looks pretty much good for now. As you can see, this image actually actually looks really good, and you don't really have to add anything. But as we did with the last image, we'll also add some black lines to give it sort of a movie movie style. There we go. That actually looks really good. And also, this is pretty good tip if you have an image that's kind of blurred and you want to use it as a thumbnail. Use this effect, put it at, you know, pretty much at, let's see, just let me just open it. Nope, that was the wrong. That was liquify. I wanted to open oil paint. All right, so, yeah, well, you can see this only the black line now because I'm on the black line layer, but if you have a really unclear and blurred out image you want to use as a thumbnail, put the stylization as kind of in the middle between five and six. And when you zoom back on it, it will don't it won't look that blurry, and it will look really good. All right, so the final image, which is from Watch Dogs, um, we'll do some color correcting here as well. Just make it a bit darker and bring out the white some more. But on this image, we'll also change the contrast. We'll turn the brightness down a bit. And as you can see, if we change the contrast, it'll make some pretty radical changes and we'll change that to around 19. All right, so we'll add some hue and saturation. And with this, I'm going to drag it almost all the way down, but I'm going to leave it at 60. So we still can see the orange and the green colors, which is pretty much the only colors we can see, the green and the orange, which makes this image really nice, just as its own. You wouldn't really need to add any more effect, but if you want, just to show you that it works fine on a game image, uh, we can drag the cleanness all the way up. And also, we'll have the stylization at around 3.5. That's pretty good. Alright, so as you can see now, if I just... Okay, so as you can see, it's kind of a cool effect. It makes it look sort of cartoonish. Which I think is a cool effect, not the best on this image, but it makes it look a bit cooler, something different. Alright, so here we have the three images, the first one, <coughs> excuse me, the second one, which I think turned out the best, actually, and the last one. Alright, so I hope you have enjoyed this very short tutorial, it's more like a tips video, actually. But, um, but yeah, I hope you have enjoyed it, as I said, and I'll talk to you guys later.